But the big story is the need for help. Moments after a tornado ravaged Cherry Stone Campground, the cleanup continues on the eastern shore in the community of Cheriton. A couple from New Jersey died. Their 13 year old son is still in critical condition from Thursday's storm. Tonight, we're hearing from those first on the scene and from the people who sent them there. Ten of your sides, Jason Marks, is live with some of the radio calls between emergency service members and what those calls reveal about how crews responded. Tom, imagine getting that call right in the middle of the storm, having to leave your family and head to the place where a tornado touched down, and you didn't know what you will find until you get there. Okay, hold on, man. Station 14, Station 15, fire response to 1511 Townfield Drive, Cherrystone Campground, hazardous conditions, advising tornado touchdown. I know a tornado has touched down, but I don't know what kind of damage, you know, we have at this time. I really didn't find it was a tornado until actually we had got there. We, there was some communication coming in on the radio as we were going. But I'll concentrate on driving. I expected maybe three or four or five trailers. You're thinking something small like a water spout or whatever. And uh, when I got on the scene. The devastation. It was a disaster zone. People walking that had been hit by hail, uh, holding bandages to their head and carrying their children, people crying. I believe you had two subjects that were in a tent. They do have a tree down on top of them. Got, eight, got two chainsaws and an axe and followed her to the scene of where those people were trapped. They weren't able to save a New Jersey couple, but they worked to save their son. Started improvising. We cut up some picnic benches and we made backboards out of that. Looking for things we could use. Kayak, and they had to use that as a backboard or a stretcher, you know, to lay him on and take him to the EMS unit. Crews went camper to camper as more help arrived, but the injured just kept coming. We find some walking and talking, and then somebody will say there's one trapped in here. Trees were hanging down, campers were overturned. Okay, we have three medic units in out the cherry stone. It was a scene they trained for, <laughs> but a scene no one ever thought they'd witness. Unbelievable on the eastern shore. I mean, I've, I've been here all my life. I've never seen anything like this at all. And I've never had a disaster like this. This is the first. And I hope it's the last. I'm sure an injury down there. The T-14, would you like more medic units? You know, I spent some time yesterday at Northampton High School. I can tell you I talked with dozens of campers who all echoed the same thing, how great these first responders are. And remember, here on the Eastern Shore, most of them are only volunteer. And that's the latest here from Northampton County. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.